So the last onesie promotion was so popular that I'm going to do something similar this time. Onesie also really likes belly rubs, so for every 100 likes she'll get a 30 second belly rub. Does anyone else's cat do this head boop type of thing, this little head rub that onesie likes to do? It's such a funny thing she does. Hello everyone, my name is Andrew AJT, and hope you enjoyed that little intro I made. If Castle Wars was a standalone game on Steam or something, I would certainly buy it. That looks like it's so much fun, even though it doesn't exist, and we just have to play the in-game version, which is still very fun. So we're going to be playing some Castle Wars today, at least in the background. It's not going to be the main topic of the video, but it's going to be there, and I'll comment on it occasionally. The main reason I play this game, other than just for fun, was I got a new mouse, which is a vertical ergonomic mouse. I've actually been trying a bunch of them. Supposedly they're more ergonomic for your wrist. I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but they seem nice so far, but obviously it's a big adjustment, and I've been doing skilling and stuff and rune crafting, but I figured I would try something PvP in a safe setting, and this felt like a good way to do it. And you can tell on the video, especially right here in the beginning, that my clicks are going to be pretty bad, although I do improve a little bit throughout the course of the video. It's going to take a bit of an adjustment if I do indeed want to get used to this. So this video is about our boomers ruining OSRS and not literally. If you haven't heard, there's a pretty popular meme going on the internet right now called OK Boomer and according to knowyourmeme.com, OK Boomer is a dismissive retort often used to disregard or mock baby boomers and those who are perceived as old-fashioned and being out of touch. If you're not from the United States, baby boomers are people that are a little bit older by now, like kind of a 50s, 60s generation. And this phrase is basically saying, you know, you're not really in tune with the new ways of doing things or you don't really understand the new ways. I don't know if there's any truth to that in real life. Maybe it applies to some people, but probably doesn't apply to a lot of people as well. I don't really care about the real life aspect of it, though. And this video is in no way a knock on that group. It really has nothing to do with them, especially because OSRS is played by such a wide age range. But I thought it was interesting because this phenomenon is kind of similar to what's really going on in old school RuneScape. And I've alluded to this phenomenon many times in the past, but it really deserves its own video because it's been happening for over six years now since the game came out in 2013. Basically there is a cultural divide in old school RuneScape where you have one group of people saying that we want the game to remain very similar to how it was when it was released. We want no new major updates that are going to change skilling or PvP or PVM and such. Often these are the people that play the game very efficiently and they don't want their methods to be changed or made easier. This is what I'll call a RuneScape boomer. It has nothing to do with their age. It's just referring to their more traditional outlook on the game. And there's the other side of it where people are saying, you know what, this is not meant to be a carbon copy of the original game. We should have new updates and new features and things should be different. If things are a little bit easier, that's okay. And there's plenty of people in between. You can't really generalize someone as being on one side of it or the other. And both sides do have reasons for believing what they do, and they generally want what's best for the game. It's just a question of what is that. But this debate has come up constantly, seemingly with so many updates or even proposed updates as we're going to take a look. And part of it, I think, is almost for everyone, people don't play this game for fun as much as they used to. In my top 10 dead mini games video, I mentioned that I didn't include Castle Wars on this list because I thought it was still fairly active and it's not really a dead mini game. Well, here's me playing it on late Friday night or early Saturday morning and the players are very sparse. I mean, we have some people playing it. It's not like Trouble Brewing where it's you and literally no one else in that lobby. But back in the day, there literally used to be maybe a player on every single square. I'm sure that's an exaggeration, but that's what it felt like. And it was so awesome because this mini game is really designed, in my opinion, to be played with a massive crowd, whereas with a small group of people, it's very hard to have a good game because if you only have one or two majors, for example, it's pretty easy for the flag runner to just sneak by them. Whereas back in the day, you might have 30 defenders and five mages and five flag runners, and then you have people trying to sabotage the other team. You have people downstairs guarding the tunnels and battling down there, screwing around with the rocks. There was so much to do in this minigame, and now it's just not as popular. 
because people want to play this game efficiently and playing Castle Wars is not being efficient. It's just playing for fun. And I'm guilty of this as well. I don't play Castle Wars as much as I used to. So maybe we're all RuneScape boomers to some extent, but when I do play it, it really does take me back to some of those memories here and make me remember that I probably should do things for fun in this game more than I do currently. And to be clear, I am having fun when I play this game like 95% of the time, unless I'm training mining or something, because I do have fun leveling up my account and working on progress, but there's very rarely times when I'm doing something that has absolutely no account progression aspect to it at all, like even PKing, which is one of the most fun things to do in the game for me, that is a money maker and it is something I do to make GP in the game, whereas something like playing some of these mini games, there's no rewards to it, it's purely entertainment, but I think we as a community need to remember that that is okay and the point of playing a video game is for fun after all. So that's one aspect of this conversation and the other thing is many people who play the game efficiently and not necessarily for pure entertainment don't always like it when updates come into the game that make it a little bit easier or a little bit new and more modernized and there was something posted just recently about an upcoming poll which is very controversial to some people because it does change the way you do some skilling and it would change something that has really always been the same for many years and this does usually get met with some pushback and this is referring to the bank interface updates which basically allow you to do more things while the bank is open currently most things in the game with the bank you have to close the bank and then do whatever you need to do such as equip armor or drink a potion and then reopen the bank and get your new armor and deposit the old armor, close the bank. It's just kind of a tedious process. And these updates would allow you to do all that stuff with the bank already open and you wouldn't have to keep closing it and reopening it. Now there are RuneScape boomers I saw on Twitter and Reddit and such that were really opposed to this because the idea is that it maybe makes the game easier. But I really don't think it does. And when you look at some of the updates we have gotten in this game since it came out, this is actually quite minor compared to some of the major things we have seen. Even the bank system alone used to be way worse. There was no deposit all, there was no deposit worn items, there was no bank tabs, there was no withdraw a certain amount like you see with mobile with the left click. And there's a lot of other updates that are not even in the bank that we take for granted that didn't used to exist in the game. For example, the orbs around the minimap, you used to have to turn your run energy on in the options menu rather than just having an orb there. There was no XP drops, the pathfinding was terrible, you couldn't just right click an Amulet of Glory to teleport, you'd have to go through the menu. You had to have no middle mouse camera which sucked and I actually voted against that when it came out because I was a RuneScape boomer at the time. Now I use the middle mouse camera all the time. There was censorship when you type in the chat. Everyone had to play in fixed mode. There was no God Wars. The pathfinding was atrocious. There was no pets. There was no GE. There was no way to know your kill count for a boss. There was no way to see other people's loot with the loot broadcasting in the chat. So many things that we take for granted now and are huge improvements to the game weren't necessarily super popular updates back then, but now we've had them for years and we couldn't imagine living without them. So my point in listing all those things is that I don't think these bank updates would be that big of a deal at all. I don't think they make the game easier. To me, what makes the game easier is things like microtransactions and the Squeal of Fortune and all that stuff where you can literally buy XP or maybe making the bosses easier or something. I'm not for making the game easier. I just think that making the game more convenient is not really that much of an advantage. It doesn't really make the game much less challenging. It's not difficult for me to close the bank and to equip my armor and then reopen the bank. It's just a waste of a few seconds. It's not really a difficulty thing to make the game more convenient. There's some other things in that blog post, which I won't mention all of them, but some of them are actually like no-brainers to me. Like, why is this even being pulled? Like, for example, improving the mage training arena shop, which is very clunky. Why would that even need to be pulled and who would really be against that? And I don't know, it just seems like this shouldn't even be worth adding to a poll. It should just be done automatically. Also, something very cool in the blog is they mention the ability to reobtain quest items that are no longer obtainable after the quest if you didn't make a copy. And I kind of happen to be an expert on this topic. I made a video about this a long time ago top 10 items you can't get back in OSRS and most of them are quest items 
They only listed a couple here, the Blue Ritz Sword and also the Dark Dagger, but I really think they all should be re-obtainable after the quest, as long as they don't really provide any advantage, which they really don't. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put it in the end screen and down below as well. So in summary, I think we all need to do a better job of playing this game for fun and not just for achievements or efficiency and i can see why there's people who are against quality of life updates because they're afraid of the game becoming easier and that's a very valid concern and i totally relate to that because of what happened with pre-eoc and what it's become now but i just think that quality of life and these accessibility type updates should not really be grouped into the same tier as making the game easier updates because they are very different things at least in my opinion let me know what you guys think about the whole thing. And no, boomers aren't ruining the game. If this update didn't pass, it wouldn't be the end of the world. I just think it would be more of a missed opportunity. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and if you agreed with any of my points, it's one of the easiest and best ways to support the channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon to get notifications whenever I upload, typically every Tuesday. Thank you so much to our Patreon sponsor, Dr. Dredd. He's been supporting the channel for so long. Such an awesome dude. Appreciate that so much. If you want to become a video sponsor yourself, you can check out my Patreon page in the end screen. You can join my clan chat up on screen, AndrewAJT62. You can join our Discord server down below. You can follow me on Twitter down below for cat pictures, and I'll follow you back if you play RS. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week.